Hello guys, I'm JDC1998 here, and this is part two of the Swan Play Tour. Um, in today's video, it's only going to be a short one. It's only going to be a short one. I'm basically going to show you all the sign stuff that I got this today, and just have a look through some of the other boxes and various things that I've seen. Um, I probably won't be opening anything in this video, so if that's what you're hoping for, this probably isn't the video for you. But if you want to have a look at some signed merchandise and some various other things, then I would stay tuned. Um, so yeah, last video I obviously showed you the box of awesome, which was that's the all I showed you, I think. And I went through some more various things. It might as well have been for the box of awesome video, but it wasn't. I also opened the preview pack and got Jordan's Club. Which is awesome. Um, also, guys, I just thought I'd let you know there is a new feature coming to my channel, which was advertised to me by someone who was there. I think it was from Bolton, but he's put Chelsea, and he's probably taken the idea of a FIFA YouTuber. But the idea was to do teams on specific things, like the strongest, the tallest, the smallest, the best possible team. Stuff like that. Um, once the one playtool videos are finished, that is what I'm going to lead on to, and I will do a video advertising that soon. But I'll just show you what I mean by this. So I can use all collections from Match Stacks Extra and Match Stacks Normal. I'm not going to use Match Stacks England because it just makes it too complicated. But this would be the best possible team, as you can see best possible team. I'll obviously, when I do that video, I'll go into better detail on that one, in that respect. Um, so yeah guys, we're now on to the stuff. Um, what I got obviously was the box of awesomes, which I reviewed last video. I also showed you the collector tins that I got, the collector tin boxes, sorry, and the normal Matchstack England box. What I also got though was some signed stuff and this green bag. I'll open the contents of the green bag in a separate video, but I'll show you what is inside there now. Basically it costs £10, and it is such a good deal if you were only just starting out on Match Next England. Should have done it with all the collections really, it's a great little green bag, really really nice. It costs £10, and inside is, this is also what the goodie bag stuff came in, but you got so much more in the goodie bag. It's a Match Tax England tin, that's worth £5.99. A Match Tax starter pack. So I'll have two of these now. It's always nice to get an extra binder with Rooney Gold, so I'll have a spare one of him. Which is usually worth £3.99, that's £4.99. £4 so it already equals £10 near enough. Plus a multi pack, which costs £5. I've got all the Ronaldos now though. And obviously you get the bag as well. So it equals £15 plus the bag. And you probably pay about £2 for the bag I'd say. Obviously you're not going to go out walking around with this. It's only for when you go to match match events. But it's very very useful and it looks really nice. And I'll probably find a place for it on my set. So it cost £10 altogether and I think it was a great deal. I think if they'd have stuck some end, some end packets in there it would have been an even better deal. But you can't really argue with that. You've got all the merchandise in there. They also sold the deluxe star packs out at the event, but as much as good as the I think Dylan UK opened one and gave him boy weird, I can't remember who. As, as good as the binder looks with its amazing shiny foil thing, and that's absolutely amazing. I wasn't gonna pay it was five pounds at the event. It's normally six pounds. I wasn't gonna pay five pounds just to get that shiny cover because I already had the Rooney Gold and I was getting one in this thing. And just didn't think it was worth it, really, guys. Um, other stuff that we got was this Match Tax England poster. So I've now got a Match Extra one and a Match Tax England one. And I've got 13, 14 ones somewhere. Very, very thin. Official England World Cup collection. Winner train session Jack Wilshire. Still haven't given all them codes in. Includes the biggest stars, and then it shows them opening the binder with the Lampard with his own card there, and Ronaldo 101. Always nice to get them, we've got a fair few of them now. I've got last year's normal one. 
that stuck up somewhere. Yeah, it's stuck up behind my uh, wall chart. It's behind the wall chart, so I'm not going to get that out. And we've got some other stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, it's always nice to get them. Now move on to the sign stuff. We've got a lot of sign stuff. Um, there was a lot more than last year and it would have been a lot better had the player who went there if he had a, a good hand. Understand what I mean when I tell you guys. Um, I did get photos with all three players. But unfortunately they're on the tablet that I'm recording with. And it would be a bit pointless anyway because I'm not going to show you what I look like. For obvious reasons. So if I just showed you a photo and covered up my face it would just be a photo of them. So it would just be pointless really. But basically the first player there that arrived at about half two was Ashley Young. And unfortunately he couldn't sign anything. They were giving away his card, which was meant to be signed by him. He was going to sign it, but he'd broken his thumb on his right hand, I think. And because he's right-handed, he couldn't sign anything. So I didn't get the card off him because it was just an empty card, and I thought it was a bit pointless. But I did get a picture with Ashley Young, and he is quite a... He really is a nice guy, even though he dives a lot, and he plays for Man United. He's a really, really nice guy. Really good in that respect. Um... But in terms of the bottom players that were there, it wasn't rubbish like last year. Last year, if you remember rightly, guys, we got three youth players to sign. It's up there, actually. It's Bottom Wanderers versus Brighton and Hove Albion. The issue, and basically they signed that, and you just didn't have a clue who they were. But this year, it was, um, well, I'll show you in a minute. There we go, there's the two signatures on the back. There's that one and that one. On this signed copy. Unfortunately, Jermaine Beckford wasn't there, but... Yeah. So there is the Bottom Wanderers issue. Bottom Wanderers vs Blackburn Rovers, season 2013-14. And I'll just pause the video and get the sheet out. Okay, guys, so let's pause the video so we can get the sheet out. And basically, here it is. It is a huge, huge poster. Spun him right the way across. It's a po poster of Bolton 13-14 picture. Really, really nice. Show races and work card as well. And the two players were here, which is David Wheater, and he sees signed over his name. He's him there. The guy in the middle of your screen with the signature on him. And the other guy that signed, I hadn't heard of him. I don't know his name. But yeah, it's him. The one whose signature's on his leg. That guy right there. That was the other guy who was there, I don't know his name. I suppose I could show it, but it's, it's a nice little thing with the bottom and the background. In it. They're all holding up show races in the red car, which is a nice touch. And unfortunately, because it's been almost set for ages, it has bent a bit, but I'm sure if I stick it under loads of binders, it'll bend back. So, I'll just slip that back under there, and that is going to stay under here until I do a set change. And I will be getting a new set, guys, with all the boxes on once everything has been opened. I'll have a new set ready for the new series which I discussed earlier. So by the time the summer starts in about two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that, I'll have a brand new set, guys. I won't change that much because I love the background of it and it took me absolutely ages. I'll just edit a few of the boxes and the tins and change that bit around, I suppose. Because it is a bit crammed at the moment. So I'll just pause the video and put the bottom part. Okay, so the bottom um, picture is back in now, which is nice and it is all tucked in nicely. And then you've got the boxes and various other things. Um, so that was all the sign stuff that I got, guys. I don't actually know what I've just done with the sign book. Oh, no, it's here. So that was the sign book. The, the book, I didn't look at it last year, I don't think. I haven't looked at it this year. It's just, it's just your standard book, really. It's just like, it's a lot smaller than the Everton ones. I'm not going to fold the page too much because hopefully it'll be worth a couple of bits in a couple of years. But I'm just going to show you where I'm going to put it. Got this bit, you've got the angle post with the Doctor Who. Then you've got the Doctor Who shelf. All the way at the top of my trophies. There's the bottom one from last year. And that is where it's going to go. There is a Nerf gun there. Yes, guys. Obviously, I don't use it, but I've got nowhere else to put it. And I got it two years ago and don't really want to bin it. So there it is, going to go up there with the Everton ball and the trophies, right up there, and I'll show you in a minute where when it's there. 
Okay, guys, so it is up there now. There it is. His face is covered. You guys will never be able to see it because we've got one level, two levels, three levels, and then we've got the set. It is a very, very big ordeal set, guys, and you guys will never, ever see it. But yeah, and there's only a small part of my room as well. <laughs> And finally, we've got the final thing to show you, which no one knew about, because it's been on the floor the whole time. On the end of the day, because I had nothing... I had, li I had like, £9 left, and I was going to buy one of those boxes for £25 with all the sticks in, which I'm probably going to end up doing for the my birthday special, which is on the 7th of June, guys. If anyone wants to send me any birthday stuff, just let me know in the, in the PM. Give me a PM and I'll give you my address and that'll be lovely guys. That'll be an epic birthday present. I'll probably end up giving it all away anyway. There's a competition back for you guys. But if it's anything decent I'll definitely keep hold of it and it'll, be a, it'll basically be a shout out for you. But anyway that's the 7th of June. But because I only had £9 left they weren't going to give it me for that. No matter how hard I had because I knew I wouldn't be able to get it. So I got myself. Basically, because I needed to carry the boxes, and I had three boxes of awesome to carry, and I wanted to get some more. So I needed somewhere to hide them away. And that somewhere, which has currently got my match tracks 13, 14, my match tracks extra, and my match tracks England binders in, which is probably where they're going to stay, so I've got nowhere else to put them, is in this bag. Which cost three pounds, three whole pounds. Here it is, guys. Finally got one, three years later. Took me a while to get the strap on and get it big enough to fit over my arm. And as you can see, if anyone doesn't know how to buckle it up, if anyone bought one and are a bit confused on how to open it, I'm now going to show you. Okay, guys, so if you, like me, were very, very confused when you first got your bag and you didn't have a clue how to open it, Basically, these things are closed, and it opens like so, so you open it up, and then you've got one small pocket here, probably for your team, you've got a medium sized pocket here, for something else, probably for your sign stuff, then in here you can fit your binders, and you can put three binders in there, easily, then you fold it over, and usually inside is the strap which just clips on, like so, See, it just clips on. But on the side is these, and basically you've got to get your binders in such a way that this bit is open, not closed, because if that's like that, then it's going to be a slant, so it won't work. So if your binders are in such a way that it works, when you pop it over, it has to go all the way over, guys, and then you just slide them across. The first time it's a bit rusty, but later on it does eventually go very, very easily. Pop it down again. Slide them across, doesn't matter what way you go. And that is your bag done, your bag done, and it will not fall. There you go, guys, hope that helped. So I hope that helped you guys out. Please comment, subscribe, and goodbye.